What's up y'all and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about the Tidewee Duck Jacket. We're getting started right now. Today we're going to be talking about the Tidewee Duck Jacket. Now, this is going to be like a first impression and a little bit of trial on this thing. Alright, Tidewee, as some of you know, is, our, is a partner of the channel. They provide us with our waders and now they've come out with a duck jacket. So I'm kind of, kind of excited to check this thing out. And uh, some people, let's just be real here, some people are a little skittish, a little afraid of these off-brand type gear, you know, the, like the jacket, maybe the tie weed waders. But look, and I'm not, I'm not just saying this because I'm partnered with them. They've given me breathable waders, neoprene waders, they've given cave waders, and neither one of us have had any issues whatsoever out of the waders. Um, I know some people dropped the comments below in, in some other in the waiter review video said there's leak straight out of the box and you know hey it is what it is but Kate and I was in Nebraska two years ago with our buddy Kyle who took a brand new pair of Drake Equator waiters out of the box and on the second or third day of the hunt they were leaking so you know Unfortunately, when it, becomes, when it comes to processing and manufacturing, there's always a bad egg or two or three that gets out. It, it just happens. It happens with the, the big popular brands and it happens with the smaller brands. But we have had no issues with Tidewee, so I'm really excited about this duck jacket. So one thing I'll say about Tidewee, their packaging is awesome. You know, a lot of your other major brands, you may get a jacket or something and it'll come in a brown cardboard box with their logo on it. and um, It'll be kind of folded up in there, but th these little things is is nice. You know, I've gotten Tideway. Tideway is sending me a lot of products, and I really, really like their packaging. It's just really awesome. It's got got their logos on there. How you can, you know, follow them on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. So pretty cool. So let's open this thing up. Let's check out this fact, this jacket. All right. It's in their new pattern that, they, that they're using on their duck jacket. It's called Veil Camo. And it, um, you know, it kind of looks like, kind of resembles a, um, the Optifade Marsh, kind of similar. But uh, this jacket is also heated, by the way. It's got the little electric battery pack you can put in it. And that's how you turn it on right there. You'll push that button. Depending on the color of that white part is your heating level so and all that's in the tag see it tells you right here on the tag if, if you've got it turned on red is for high temp white is for medium blue is for low temp all of these are continuous heating in the heating elements are in the back and then right here in the front chest pockets really not something I'll use but it's there if you want it now this is a hooded quarter zip pullover now this is this is the kind of thing I prefer I really don't like a big bulky jacket when I hunt I usually wear a hoodie and you know just layer underneath but this jacket is perfect I like jackets like this I have a lot of other name brand jackets like this so I'm really excited to use this Tidewee jacket this year right off the bat I see that it has a waterproof zipper on the front now they advertise this jacket as waterproof 100% waterproof we're gonna test that out here around the end of this video so make sure you stick around to the end to let's we're gonna find out because I want to know is it really waterproof but it's got a waterproof zipper right there on the for your little quarter zip and right here on each side of the chest it's got some zipper pockets now those zippers I noticed are not waterproof and this one is magnetic got a magnetic both of these pockets are fleece lined 
And on the inside of here, it's got this, I don't know what you'd call that. But it's like a, not really a fleece, it's almost fuzzy like a, some kind of fur or something, I don't know. But I got a banded jacket that has that same stuff in it. I'm not sure if that's some type of wool or what that is, but it's got a, got a zipper for the hood, so that looks like the hood is removable, so that's kind of cool. Sometimes I like the hood, sometimes I don't, so it is nice to know that I can take it off. And it has a drawstring in the back to pull that hood down tight if you wanted to. Now let's look at the hand pockets. It's got the kangaroo pockets down here on the waist, right here. Those zippers also are not waterproof, but they go all the way through. So if you got, you know, if you got both hands in there, you can uh, you can touch each other. It's not individual pockets, so that's I like that. It's a full all the way through kangaroo pocket, like what comes on like a normal hooded sweatshirt. And that's really about all on the sleeves. Now see, this this is something I really like. If this jacket is waterproof, like they advertise it and say it is, this is awesome. I like these little extra cordura type fabric they put on the elbows because think about it, when you're sitting in a blind or you're sitting in a boat or whatever, if you're sitting and hunting and you've been waiting, well your waders are going to be wet, well you've got your elbows on your knees, well now, now your, the back part of your arms or your jacket is wet. So if this thing is waterproof, that's going to be a huge bonus, a huge asset right there. So I really like that. Now I'm going to put this jacket on and we'll see how it fits. Alright, now i got the jacket on and this thing fits awesome. Um, I actually, I normally wear like an extra large, but I decided to go with the large because I wanted it to be kind of tight fitting. So I went with the large and it fits me perfect. Um, got the Velcro on the handcuffs and I'm sure you know, like most jackets, you know, if you if you got it looks like that, it's not going to be waterproof. So I'm sure for the root waterproofing, you got to have it probably you know cinched down fairly tight. But this jacket fits great. It feels really good. Um, it's not cold outside or in here, obviously, but I can tell like this, this it would be warm. Like I'm I'm warming up already. It, it feels really it's really good, really comfortable. It's got the drawstrings on the bottom. If you wanted to cinch it down really tight around your waist, you could. Um, I'm really not a fan of that. I like mine to be loose and just kind of tuck it down inside my waders. Um, but it's not, this could also be worn over your waders, especially with it being waterproof. If it is, we're going to test that out. We're going to find out here shortly. So if it's waterproof, you might put it on the outside of your waders and you shed water. And we don't have to worry about anything get inside of your waders see about this hood on this thing not really a hooded guy don't really wear a hood much but it fits pretty good like I'm glad that the hood's not too big that's one thing that I really don't like about most hoods a lot of them tend to be too big and as a lot of y'all know if you follow the channel I wear the GoPro on my head so that's nice to know that the hood's not so big that it's going to cover the GoPro I could take it and tuck the front of it behind the GoPro like that and rock on so that's nice to know turning my head it's like I said it fits very well it's not too big it kind of moves with me I can see good doesn't really restrict my visibility so overall it feels really really good now we're gonna go outside get the water hose and we're gonna find out if this thing is waterproof so y'all stick with us what's up y'all we're gonna try the waterproof test on this Tidewe duck jacket now we're gonna get our our sleeves tight Right here, get it zipped up appropriately. If I can get my beard caught in it, because that'll be pulling it out. Get the hood on, ready to go here. Now my bill of my hat might get wet. But the biggest thing we're testing here is we want to see if my body is going to get wet. Trying to get my beard tucked in there was the hardest thing. We want to see. I got on this dark gray T-shirt underneath here, and my waiter so my clothes don't get wet. But so we are going to see, does Alan's body get wet with the Tide Wee jacket? This thing's like 200 bucks, so I mean, it's not that expensive. So if it works, it's worth the money. We got a water hose here, we got it on the shower setting. Here we go. Here goes nothing. I'm getting 
getting rained on here. Well, that's a little more than you would get in a rainstorm, but the biggest thing is, did I get wet? I don't think so. I feel dry. I do. I mean, look at the jacket. It's it's repelling water. We can shake it off. Let's see if my shirt's wet. I don't feel wet. I don't think I am. I don't want to lose my hat. Oh, there it went anyway. Put my hat on. It's the monster. Okay, am I wet? No. Nope. There you have it, folks. Tide weed duck jacket. Says it's waterproof. It is waterproof. Picky one out. Links in the description. And that's all I got for you this week, guys. So until next time, y'all bust them up.